Oh, don't tell me chat's broke again. Oh, one person's on. It's Carol. Oh, everyone's coming on now. Good evening, Claire Bear. Good evening, Andy. Carol, hello. Amy, how are we? Matthew, hello. Good evening, Andy. Hope you're well, mate. Amy, hello. Becky Cuts, good evening, Claire Bear. I hope you're well. Tracy. H, top man, Tina, Rebecca, Sandy, Kim, Stephen, wonder if your name's going to get said again tonight, Stephen, Teresa, Cliff, hello, it's a bit dark in here now, isn't it, I've walked around, Dawn, hello Kelly, I hope you're well, Tracy, Kim, everybody, yeah, everybody's coming on now, marvellous, right, it's the big night. It is the big night. Good evening, Kevin. Where have we bought you? Well, it's not. It's not up to our usual standard. This is it. It's not looking like it worth Wednesday night when I went out. It looks a bit more respect, respectable. Is the word I think I'm looking for. Good evening, Gemma. So where are we? Is anybody any guesses? Somebody must have been in this room. Can anybody guess? Uh, Kelly, I'll, no, I've, I've spoke to Wanda briefly. Yes, we are a bit early, Amy, but we're on for a long time. Just found this out, haha. <laughs> cool. So has anybody, has anybody any idea where I am? Yeah, you know Claire Bear, we've told you. British Legion, actually, you know. British Legion wouldn't be a bad idea. Somebody must have been in this place. Look, there's people behind me. Oh my God. Thank you, Sandy. Suit and tie, I don't own one. I don't own one, Stephen. Not one that fits anyway. Yeah, hotel. Spot on, we're in a hotel. We are in a hotel. We're in a... Yes, we are, Kelly, but we haven't actually sorted out. I wonder where Busy at work, so I will speak to her tomorrow. Yeah, close, close. Change that W for an M. Mosborough Hall. We're at Mosborough Hall Hotel. We're here all night. One of the most haunted hotels. One of the most haunted hotels. Or the most haunted hotel round here, anyway. Whether it's the most haunted hotel in the UK. The top six in, 90, in last year were top six. It was in the top six last year of the most haunted hotels. Yep, Sonic Boom is here. You can hear in the background. So I'll give you a bit of history about this place and then we'll introduce everybody. So yeah, we are tonight at Mosborough Hall Hotel. We are in, we are stopping in the John Darcy Suite, which is supposed to be the most haunted room in this hotel. <laughs> yeah, cheers H. Um, that's put me off now. Yeah, so anyway, let's do a bit of history. Many years ago, the terrain around Mosborough area of Sheffield was an expanse of unbroken moorland. This reflected in the origin of its name, Mosborough, which is an adaptation of Moresborough, which means the fort on the moor. The Saxon, Wolfric Spot, who owned lands as far as Conisbury in Doncaster and Lawton in Rotherham in Ethelred's reign, was also overlord over Mosborough, at the end of the 10th century. 20 years after the Norman conquest, Mosborough passed into its new Norman Lord, Ralph Fitzherbert. He was one of the two major South Yorkshire landowners after the conquest. Nobody can be sure of the day of the first Mosborough house, which is said to be in the 16th century. But some sources have, the bil have a building here in some sort as early as the 12th century. Much of the current building was built in the 17th century, when Mosborough House became Mosborough Hall. 
Mosborough Hall has seen many owners throughout history. The original hall was owned by William Carey and his son Harry, Harry? Henry Carey, first Baron Hunsdon is also said to have been born there. Other former owners include Samuel Stainforth, or Staniforth, a local mine owner from the village. The infamous King Henry VIII used a network of secret tunnels to gain access to the hall so he could continue his affair with Anne Boleyn's sister, Mary. So Henry VIII had been here. This building became the current hotel when it was restored in 1974. Ghosts here include a white lady, a spectral dog, as well as other poltergeist activity. <sighs> I couldn't say that again. So, I hope we're all well. Anyway, Linz is here. Do you want to say hello? And then you can introduce everybody else. Good evening. Hello, hello. Right, I'm going to introduce you. I'm going to turn you round. Excuse the mess on the table. I'm going to introduce you to our two lovely ladies tonight. And we have got Claire. Hello. And Angie. Hi. And they are joining us for tonight. Um, they might stay all night. They might just stay for a few hours. Who knows what they're going to stay. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward for a really, really good evening. Um, we've just set the REM pod up. Right over there. REM pod, K2. No, that's REM pod on that far table. I need oh, you to right. walk down and check. And it's going off. Do you want to take camera? The REM pod's going off, guys, already. So John's just going to reset it. Hi, Claire Bear. Hi, Dawn. Angela. Tracy. You've got a hi, Claire and Angie from Tracy. Hi, Claire, and everybody's saying hello. Hi. Just shout hi. hi. Hello, wave. <laughs> right, so the REM pod, John's just gone back and set the REM pod back up. Um, so REM pod sat, I can't see properly. So REM pod sat on that I'm table. Okay, we've got the flashy balls set up on the table in front of us. We've got the K2 meter on. We've got the ovulus, which is said. Right bright but when we switched it on it actually said bright and it's bright lights in here and um, we can't work out how to turn these off guys so these lights are going to be on um but yes but we've got in here to investigate we've got behind the bar later on we've got somewhere else to investigate which you'll see later um and there's also places outside. If you're on about room, I've already told them. No, have you already told them what room we're in? They spoilt it. They <laughs> spoilt it. Do you know I want that to be a surprise on end? And uh, he's just setting up his laser. Well, well, I was just making sure it worked. Oh, I thought you were setting laser grid up. Uh, we'll try and set that up on the back wall over there. So we're going to stop in here for a while and uh, see what appertains. Um, so, yes, yeah, so what do you guys want on first? Necrophonic, Paratech, Spirit Box, EVPs. Which room? Ha <laughs> ha, Scott, you don't know what room. <laughs> Which room is it? Darcy Sweet. Darcy Sweet, Scotty. Darcy Sweet. We're in Darcy Sweet. You want to see the bed? Oh my God, four poster bed. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, right, I'm going to pass you back up to John. Uh, start putting in what you want us to start with, guys, and uh, we'll take it from there. It is back. It's back. <laughs> necro chat thingy. Necro do you know, actually, do you know, we call it necro chat thingy, Claire, but it's actually easier to try to type necrophonic. <laughs> I've just realised that. Paratech, really, Cheryl? Really already? DW, dead wave, dead six feet. Good evening, my friend. I didn't see you. Come on, you're sneaking in there. At last minute. Hey, Scotty boy. Hope we're well. Right, go on then. Dead wave, we're all saying. Oh, that is an interest. So, oh, they mean the John Darcy suite. Yeah, that is, it is an interesting room. Very. There's actually a door or a panel in the door. We'll show you later. 
And this door doesn't actually go in. It's not actually yeah, a door, but it looks like a door. We think we've debunked that door. Oh, they've debunked it. We've debunked, we've debunked it. The window, we haven't debunked the window, though. We'll show you on out. We'll but we'll show out you there. outside as well. There is a window on the outside here, and it Which used to be covered. And Angie pointed and it out. Angie pointed it out. She told us about this. I can't. I can't take claim for this. From a very reliable source. From a very reliable source, right? There used to be ivy growing all up outside this building. They had a gardener or a gentleman come round to cut the ivy down, like halfway. So as he cut the ivy down, there's a window that's yeah. behind this ivy that they found, and he's looked through this window, and in this window there is a desk and a chair. Desk and a box, I think. Or desk and a box, yeah. she thinks. We're not, not 100% sure, but there is a few things in this room. Yeah. But nobody knows how to get into that room. There's no door or no, no way to get into that room. Nobody knows in this hotel. Well, there is. There's a secret passage somewhere, obviously. And the really tiny. Yeah. Nareet, we're here all night. Till early hours of the morning. In fact, no, past early hours of morning. We're here till tomorrow morning. We are going to be live at 3 o'clock a.m., though. But we might, we might, we might not be on for a full 12 hours, as in like straight, we whatever. Break. We might have a break in a bit and then come back on. We might even do a bit of a live on YouTube. We'll see on YouTube. We'll see. We're not but sure yet. I might let John go live on YouTube and I might come live on Facebook. No, because nobody will watch me. <laughs> they will. I'll be on my own. You won't. What? Different followers on YouTube. Scotty, you'll have to come with me if I go on YouTube. <laughs> no, Scotty, don't leave me. <laughs> Very rare, please. If there's any spirits oh. in this room, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I'm just going to see if they'll set me rent. Just yeah. Off. Good evening, Mummy and Daddy Bear. Evening, Mummy and Daddy Bear. Woo! I hope you're both well. Mum and Dad. <laughs> Don't take any. Just make sure she stays in line. Claire Bear, I know what she's like. Yes, we're getting breakfast. H, do you know we're here on a ghost hunt? You're asking about breakfast. Good evening, Helena. So we're going to put the dead wave on. Don't forget you guys, you've got to put what you hear, put in the chat what you hear because you'll hear more than what we do. Yeah, your eyes and ears guys. I just want to see if my laugh triggers the flashy balls. So I'm going to do, it's going to be a bit loud. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you turn them both on? Yeah, they're on. Hello. The yeah. only thing we've noticed that will do it that will light them up when they're like that. Yep. And Claire did it, go on Claire. Is if you bang on the yep. table it next to really it, near, near close yep. to it. If you bang from here, they don't go off. Yeah, so. If they go off. One of the balls them. isn't broke actually. What we thought one of the balls were broke the other night isn't broke. It's sensitive. It's just sensitive. Oh, that, one's a bit sensitive. Yeah. that one's doing it now as well. No, that, that is the one that was sensitive. No, the other one were, right. it were the other one earlier. Oh, I don't know. That one didn't go off. Can do, yeah. Send boil in the bags. We don't need any boil in the bags. I don't know if it's so you can eat breakfast. I have no idea. <laughs> right, so we have. We've moved them onto a different table now. So we've moved, we've knocking. We've moved the flushy balls the onto that table there. So both flushy balls are there. In fact, I've walked the other one. Both flushy balls are there. The REM pods on the table over there. We've got <coughs> other devices over here, and we are going to put the dead wave on. I'm going to set camera up in a bit as well. There's any spirits with us? Can you see those devices on the other tables? We've got two little balls that you can play with, and they'll just light up. Um, and on the back table, the very far table, there's a blue light, and if you can come close to that blue light, uh, an alarm will sound off. I think you did it earlier, um, so if you could do that again, we'd much appreciate it. We're also going to be switching an app on that we can communicate with you through the app. Um, are we ready? They're all finding it highly hilarious now that one of my balls is sensitive. One of his <laughs> balls is sensitive, John's flashy balls. <laughs> now. When you're on that, you can hear that clearer when you're listening in. From what you do. Yeah, so you can hear it yeah. from your experience. <laughs> but you'll still hear that. Good evening, Spirit. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. I'm Angie. 
My name is Claire. We mean you no harm or disrespect. We just here to communicate with you and find proof of the afterlife. Could you step forward and tell us your name? For a spirit, so we can hear you clearly. How many of you are in this room with us? That's a four and two. I thought you said four. Oh, well, I wouldn't say forty-two, but obviously I don't think it's forty-two here. No, but I thought I heard four and two. I thought it was forty-two or four and two, but I thought. I heard. Is the two of you here with us? There's the four of us and two of you. What was this building originally when it was built? What was it used for? There's four of you here, is there? Rebecca's sensing four. But Rebecca's got a name that's relevant to you. A show up name. Ten. Ten. The name ten. Well, she's put this four, including ten. So I don't know why that's different, why Ken's... Ken, if you're here, if you've got a message for me, there's some balls on those tables, or there's the blue light at the back. If you can go and make one of them light devices go off, then I know that you're here for me. She hasn't told me about that, Scotty. What? Apparently, Scotty sent you something to do with dates. Oh, I've not, see, I've not looked at it yet. I've not it up and now He's not 100%, but he thinks he knows what date it will be up. Marvellous, I'll have a look in a minute. Come on, spirits, I know you're here. We mean you no harm, disrespect. We come with positive energies and we just want to communicate. Is there an afterlife? There's some toys on a table. If you want to go and play with them, we will give you permission to play. H U at eighteen fifteen. If you just touch these, or just move them, try and move them. The flash like that. If you approach this blue light. We'll just light up, no arm. Just let us know you're here. None of them will hurt you. Yeah, I think it were all, it's all in different parts, isn't it? I think it was 12th century manor house, and then in 16th century it was added to and became Mosborough House, and then in 17th century it became Mosborough Hall. In the 12th century it was the manor house, in the 16th century it was the hall, yeah. and in the 1976 it became the hotel. Yeah. Seventy-four. Are you curious about what those devices are on the other table? Somebody's put, I don't know if we know this, but somebody's put that somebody's buried in the grounds but no gravestone. We've not, we've not heard of that one. What was that? The woman I sent is... Oh, 
I hate this chair. The woman I'm sensing is in 1700s dress, blue and white, her hair is high, it's like a wig, her makeup is very bright, very red cheeks and lips, pale skin. The lady is with us, she's a lady present, can you make your presence known? Can you either come on this device and just say a clear yes? It's a good idea, if you googled Old English talking on your phone and played it. Old English talking? Yeah. Another good thing is... Sorry. Right. Said sorry that then. I'm only moving these because somebody said if it's a child that's in here, you might not be able to reach him at middle at table. Ah. What am I downloading? So we've moved them all now to the edge of the table. Can you try and move one of the objects that are on the tables, please? They won't hurt you in any way. That's a child. Little child that's here. We mean you no harm or disrespect. I'm not here to hurt you. Could you try and affect one of the objects on the table? Just try and move it. When I put old, Eng old sp English spoken, it's not coming up with anything. I don't know. I mean, H had that idea. I, just, I don't know. I just thought it might be. Old spoken English. Yeah, no worries, Sharon. She says, I don't think it's common knowledge. Well, oh, right. Game. Young child that's here, can you tell me your name? Or how old you are? It goes near me. It was mental. <laughs> Is it Edward here? Search audio of Old English being spoken, it says. You don't have to. You're getting me in some rape trouble, you're. Search. I've put searching. Old English what? Um, John, search audio of Old English being spoken. Is it Edward here? Edward, if you're here, can you try and affect one of the devices on the table, one of the objects? I'm definitely summer. I don't know about a battery. Who's in the chair by the door? There was that thing, it was that one that went off earlier, and I think the worst thing in the corner. I'm presuming you mean this chair? It's not a door, I don't think. I'm presuming you mean that chair there? Is that the one you mean, Angel? Do you guys see anything? That door. So they sent you a link yeah. to Messenger. Zarin, see you in no. See you in no. Have this in this in that 
turn herself for a minute. The elders have done some little to flow oh, no, for when he old and find and food, that he had a child at and mish done, and he have done here a young grassy latin. After some time, yeah. father will end up. So we've got a cold draft working its way round the no. table. What is her you were then? Quad he? And you felt so it first. The Claire's just Listen, felt it now. And there definitely no, isn't father, no drafts in this building whatsoever. Claire can feel a draft or a cold spot round her. And if I come around this language, can you make them lie? Can you guys? You make it flash to orange or red. That was just lighting up. It's not my phone, guys, because my phone's nowhere near it. As you can see. Can you light it up to a red? Can you make that light flash up to a red? If you stand near the, nearer to the device, you will make it go off. If you understand this language that's been spoken, you play with one of the devices. Thank you. Did you see that? You got red there. No. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that K2 meter go up to red? Can you understand? Thank you for that. Can you do that again? If you're, if you're stood near Claire, if you're stood near the lady, Near to the device on the table, and Anja, can you light that back up to red to let us know that you're with us? And I will play this again. No, it's old English apparently. I have no idea. It doesn't sound English to me. Hang on. Oh, don't get us a copyright strike. Oh, it's gone on to a different one. <laughs> Didn't sound like this either, apparently. English language. English. The red. Spirits, if you can understand this language, can you set one of the devices off? Can you make this one on our table like to red? Everybody's saying it sounds like Germanic. Sounds what? Germanic. What's Germanic? German. That's it, I don't know. There's old English on it, the sound of old English, Anglo Saxon language, a short story. You see that, we know. You guys see that K2 meter? Wow. That's definitely not coming from us because it's not doing it all the time. Are you enjoying listening to this language being spoken? If you can understand me, can you make one of those flashing balls on the other table flash? He sent you another link for Old English Lord's Prayer. Because everyone thinks that's either German or Spanish. Do you make them lights light up on that device again? On that object on the table, the one with the green on it? It's Lord's Prayer. Gonna do say the Lord's Prayer for you in Old English. If you appreciate this, can you make the lights go to red? Thank you so much. Do you like listening to the prayer? Take it to red if you do. If you want me to stop the prayer, can you take it to red? Can you come and communicate with the spirit? See? It weren't phone, it weren't, it's not anything <coughs> we've got that's setting that off at all. Can you take the lights back up to red, please? And 
Sounds very much like ours, doesn't it? Just it's Somebody's put one of Henry VIII's wives was Spanish, and maybe it's that reacting to Spanish. Ah. Do I put that other one back on? No, because we don't even know what language it is. Some well, people are saying no. it's Spanish, some are saying it's Latin, some say if it's German, Sp Russian. If you are Spanish, you understand Spanish? If I say hola, <laughs> can you light that light up to say hello back? I'm going to stop that one. Okay, we're making up knots. All right, interesting. That he reacted interesting to one. That because that, when that other one was, normal. has it gone back to normal now? Yeah. But whatever were there moved. When I put that prayer on, yeah. whatever was there yeah. moved away from the table. Yeah. You know? But then they could be, that could be, if they're praying themselves, they're not going to be active. Or communicate because of prayer, everybody's silent. But do you know what I mean? So it's that's right, interesting. Interesting, spirit box. I, yeah, I can't see one of them balls though that can move them close because we can't see them with them chairs or move chairs. That's it, and that one. <laughs> little things like that. It's Maybe look for some old English music. Old English music, let's see. Well, they said that somebody said that maybe they like the music. I'm not singing to any old English music, <laughs> I'll tell you now. <laughs> Good evening, spirits. I mean, you know how more disrespect. Could you try and communicate with us using this oh, device in my hand? Chinese. Not yet, in a bit. No, no, no. you step forward and tell me your name? Don't forget, guys, put it in the chat whatever you are. through the ovulus. What does strong mean? Somebody just said Spanish coming through the radio then. I heard foreign but I didn't know what it was. Sir. What's that? What's that? Play some M A R I A C H H I music. Is that like uh, them clappers? Maria, Maria, Maria. Maria. Thank you. 
What is the name of the Spanish lady? Two step forward, use this device in my hand to communicate or try and affect one of those objects on the table there, try and push one of them off the table. I'll leave you this a minute. What are you doing? I'm going to turn that laser, that laser grid off because I think the battery's dying. Right. I'm not using it, are we? No. Yeah. Sorry guys, you're going to go on a bit of a slant in. Oh, I've done, oh that's it, you're back. Evening guys, it's alright, I've nearly closed us. To the lady spirit, can you step forward and tell me your name? I'm Lindsay. That's John moving it. Looks pixelated to me. Sorry, guys. Like, yeah, could be my bit camera being a bit close to it. It's not going off now, so if it goes off again. I just thought you heard the lady's voice. I think we're hearing a uh, lady's voice coming this is through. A <laughs> yeah. yeah. Edwardian. Concentrate on them to end tables near the wall. To the spirits that are over in the corner, can you step forward? Can you come and touch one of those devices for us, please? Thanks, Cheryl. Do you want to ask anything? Not yet, in a bit. <laughs> Can you tell us how old you are, please? Are you male or female? There's another device on the table that you can use to speak to. That other device that Claire's holding in her hand, you can speak through that. If you find that easier, are you a male or female spirit? We're going to in a bit, Rebecca, find light switches. I'm sensing an arm. Is there a lady called Anne with us? I heard a bit of Whitney Houston come through then, though. Come on, spirits, we know that you've got the energy to affect one of these devices. Can you please light one of those bowls up for us? Lights are going. Lights are going like that. Thank you. Can you say, can you take it to red for a yes? And can you leave it on green for a no? Thank you. Are you male? Are you female? Was you the lady of the manor? Or was you a servant? Speaker. <laughs> 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 
Did Ken with the eights? I'm just going to try an experiment here. Ha! Hello? It's not my voice that's just took it to a red, ladies and gents. I know you can't, it's EMF. Um, Henry VIII, are you with us? Did you know Henry VIII? If so, take those lights to a red. Tracy, sorry, I'm not watching chat in front of you all. What's in front of me, Tracy? No, I know you are. Victoria. Tough. Light like going on and off on its own. Claire Bear, which light's going on and off on its own? Oh, it could have been John turning lights on and off, that Claire. On the table there, just in front, where my finger's pointing, we have got the K2 meter that's cheap going up to the red. Um, going off now, can you guys can just see that flickering? On the other table, we've got two flashy balls. And on the far back table, we have got the um, REM pod. Um, from <laughs> we've got the REM pod. Um, but we are getting... John has just made everybody crap themselves. They thought it were a ghost walking around. He's, he's left us all alone. He's gone out at building at minute. You're scaring everybody. They're thinking they've seen a ghost walking around. <laughs> oh, the light on the ceiling beam top left. That one keeps going off. Keeps going on and off. I'll have to look back at that because I can't look at it. Um, that side up there, I wait, I'll hold my finger, or is it other side, is it my left? <laughs> We're just going long, I don't know whether I've said something, whatever. Switch can manipulate white noise music, say what they need to say. Yes, they do, uh, Kristen. Um, she finds light switch straight away. I know, um, it's... Uh, yeah, they manipulate the uh, voice. Can you put your hand near that, Claire, just so it goes off? Yeah, that's it. Right, we're just going to turn the spirit box off for a second. And I'm going to hold you up slightly, like that. John will have to take over in a minute. Um, so as you can see, there's no device going off. The device, so the, it's not the phone. Hi, Dave. Um, it's not the phone that's affecting any of the devices on, uh, on our table, which is just the K2 meter. Claire's gone and sat down by the REM pod, and Claire's going to call out and ask for somebody to come and step forward and touch the REM pod when she's ready. <laughs> and we've got two flashy balls on the table. So what we're waiting for at the moment is communication. As you can see, the K2 meter's flashing on the end of our table. Um, that keeps going up to the red. Um, we did mention uh, Henry VIII, and it went straight to the red. Um, none of the flashy balls have gone off as yet. So Henry VIII played instruments and, co and com composed sent link. Love light. I shall have a look what link's just been sent to me in a moment. So spirits, if you're a male, can you make those lights... Or the REM pod, or the balls flash, please. Can you do one one of them or all of them together? Can you make it go up higher than that one? Use a little bit more energy. Can you take it up to the red, please? Thank you. Keep trying. We are taking still photographs as well, guys. Um, see if we capture anything on camera. If that's a male spirit affecting those lights, can you take it all the way up to the red so we know you're a male? If you're a female, can you step up? Can you step back? Are you a child? If you're, a, if you're a child spirit, can you light them the lights up for us, please? I think it's a lady. 
What do you guys think? I think that's a lady trying to communicate with us, not a gentleman. Is there a lady here? I asked her to step back and then she stopped, didn't it? Mary? Is that you? Are you here, Mary? Mary Boleyn? She's fuzzing again. Use a bell and hang it from a string, then have them ring it once for yes. We ain't got a bell, we as my lovely, otherwise we would. Uh, yeah, Kristen sensing female. Not a good picture from here. I think... It's, is it losing focus? Yes, mm. lady is trying to talk. It's not losing focus on our end, so I don't know. It shouldn't be fuzzy. Don't look directly at light. Yeah, be right, right. it's going to... Is that any better? Is that any better with the light on, guy? No, because you can't see Claire right over in far corner. It... No, that's fine. Male shadow and a man earlier, it went through the wall next to the door. There's a few spirits, but the female wants to, wants to talk, I think. Victoria. Right, I'm going to go with name Victoria. And I'll try Victoria and Catherine. And uh, I'll try them two first. It's saying it's pixelating. Right, so no, do you want to do. take it? No, no. Catherine, are you with us? <laughs> Catherine, if you're with us, can you step forward and make those lights light up? And what, what other name? Victoria. Victoria. Victoria, are you with us? If Victoria's with us, can you go over to the blue light near to where Claire's sitting and set that alarm off? Claire's just shown you how to do it. You've just got to go near and it will pick up on your energies. If you're Catherine, can you send this device to a red? Or take it to the orange? Take it up to the orange or red? And if you're a child spirit, can you make one of those balls flash? You can use John's energy to make them flash if you need extra energy. Do she you something in that corner there? Yeah, she likes to be called Vicky. I think it's something cooling down. I don't think it's... I don't. It sounds like a footstep. It sounded like a footstep. It sounded like a footstep, that last one, didn't it? Oh, really? Is there anybody over here? Any spirit over here? Can you show yourself on this camera? There's a little boy aged four to five called Samuel watching with curiosity. Who just got a stabbing pain? Oh, she's got a stabbing pain under her left boob and it's not my pain if that makes sense. Helen? I feel Victoria could be the woman I'm nothing sensing with a high white weight. There there's nothing negative in this room. Can you guys get some screenshots? Claire's sensing something round her. And there literally is no draft in here, guys, at all. It's not no, there isn't. It's not a cold room, I think it's quite... But, do you know, my right-hand side is cooler than my left, if that makes but any it's sense. it's funny because... Yeah. This bit is cooler than yeah. the other side, it feels it, but it's not cold, and there's no draft on it. But that's exactly what Angie felt first. Angie was the first one to feel it. I don't know what this room would have been, H. 
Um, I think this is quite modern, this room, actually. Well, I don't know if it, this bit, the whole thing's modern because you know the beam, well, unless they're yeah. false beams, but that brickwork to me could be old. Mm. I'm not sure work. if this is. But it could be from the 70s, that brickwork. Yeah, it, it could be. It could be old. It, it, we, we're not sure about this bit. We'll try and find out in a bit. We actually think weddings were done in here anyway, up to day now. Try an EVP and then we'll um time are we on now? We'll try an EVP and then um we'll do some vape we'll leave everything set up. Just go outside for and just see where the yep. spirits will because they might play while we're not in and then when we come back in. Yeah. They might and we'll do some vaping experiments Should outside. have brought one at cameras down with as well. Should have brought one at camera. Well that that thing record. It's a UV camera, isn't it? Could record it on Europe, but we've got no to put any cameras on. We've got no stand to put any cameras on. I, what I'm saying, yeah, if I spot about, if I just stood you could it do, up, yeah. and uh, not yet. We're going to do an no, EVP yeah, first, we're aren't we? EVP first, but then if we all, if we can, let's record us. Just stand as um, somebody around. There's something back around that's vague. The bricks look old. But I'm not sure about this part of the building. Wow. It could have been. So cold. It was renovated in 1974. Now, I don't know if this was an old building that was partly rebuilt or it's been totally redone. This part, this wall here, and that wall there looks old. Obviously, you can't really tell with the rest of it. But it could be modern, it could be. Oh, I don't know, we'll have to find out later. About there is a gentleman we're going to the night porter. He's going to come and talk to us later, I think, or whether he'll talk to us on camera or talk to one of us and we'll pass the um, information on. But he's got some stories to tell us. And I think Claire's got a child spirit round her. Getting goosebumps as we're talking. Right, EVP set. Yep, you ready? Gonna show up camera EVP. Yep. I'll put it on recorder. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Quiet. I'm ready. I own. EVP session one, function room. Good evening, spirits. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. I'm Angie. I'm Claire. We mean you no harm or disrespect. We're just here to communicate with you. Could you step forward and tell us your name? Can you tell us how old you are? Are you affecting my arm? Can you tell me what year this building was built? Can you tell me what this room is used for now? We'll stop right there. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Sounds like it could be an ice machine or something because there's a bar through there. And there is a, I think something's buzzing, I think it sounds like a machine. So it could be a machine in there and what... I can hear a buzzing. But that, that I heard earlier... That, that, well, that you guys want me to put, that. do you guys want me yeah. to put disco ball on? So, that's like Because I know where to switch for disco ball is. Like disco ball. Right, yeah. I'm going to play this back guys, if I hear anything, I'll play it back for you. Like Just for you. Yeah. You keep an eye on these, two flashy balls. Yeah. One, two, and REM pod. Can you say? Back there. Because any spirits around me? Right. We're going on. I 
I heard something. I heard after you said. After you said. Just let me. I'll just play it for these guys on yeah. Facebook, and then I'll play it for you. We might be able to hear it now. We're closer. Hold on. Just after, Angie says, "Can you tell us how old you are?" There's three things. That's up full. I'll go back to that now. No, I'm just going to rewind. That's the end of it. Do you know, just before Angie speaks, mm. just ask them to listen, because I'm sure, as Angie first speaks, I'm sure I hear, <coughs> yes. What, with that question? With that How question, old you are? yeah. Listen, guys. Can you hear it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it says yes. As you're just as you're speaking, you can hear yes, just just, just as you're speaking. You see, it could I be. Know. I can't. I can't make it out. You listen, and I'll tell you what I hear. Yeah. So I can hear three clicks after, but I can hear, I thought I heard a yes. Well, what I heard there, but you need cleaning up, but what I heard there is I am five. So I might be wrong. It might just be because. You hear that? Yeah. Right, just before Angie speaks, there's a sound. Can I touch? A minute. Hold on. Anybody make it out? I'm going to uh, try and clean that up anyway. Rebecca thought it said, I am nine. So we both agree that he says, I am. Have you got a torch, Doug? Well, it's up. I'm just going to go over there with this because that, this noise is coming and banging. You lost sound, Angel. I'll play it you one more time. How Lindsay's doing that. Oh, is this dodgy one? Yeah, oh. that's me, self-defence torch. I'll just play it one more time. Just before Angie speaks, there's a sound. Now, me and Rebecca both. I've not gone back. I think it says five. Rebecca thinks. Uh, yeah, Rebecca thinks it says nine. But we both agree that it's saying I am. I'll come in, I'll, there's ladies' toilets. There's ladies' toilets just as so we're going out, I think. Look, as soon as I come back to the table. Right, guys, we're going to go out and have a quick vape. See, that sets it off there, look. Right? The fan moved back, moved back. From there, nothing. From that distance, there's nothing. Right? That doesn't affect it. I've got nothing on me, torch. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can clean it up, H. We'll have to, uh, when I get home tomorrow. See if we can clean that one up. But it's like three, five or nine knots. Yeah, I'm not sure. That were, I don't know. You see, I could have said five because I got that in my head because David put earlier that he saw a little boy called Samuel 
wheels that were about four or five years old. So whether I got that in my head, I don't know. No, turn it off. Turn it off totally. Yeah. Oh, let me show. Let me show her. Turn it off at back, like yeah. that. Right, and there's a little button. Yeah, watch. Don't look at it. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Protection torch. Actually, we're facing camera. Everyone's probably blind now. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, guys. I did forget about that. Yeah. You just, I bought that torch because. Oh, they're just going to. I'm going to go out for a quick vape. Well, they're going to. I'm leaving them with ghosts. Don't think he's fine. No, I'm not sure. I'd like to say, I don't know if I've got... Um, I don't know if I got it in my head. That. Let me turn this around a minute. I, that's probably a better picture, actually. That. I don't know if I got it in my head. The five. Yeah, we will do when we go, go back in. Just come out for a quick vape. Um, and then we're going back in. What would do if I got my e-cig turned on? Oh, it's a lovely. In fact, while we're out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys over. Don't freak because they don't know where I've gone now. So I'm going to show you guys this window we're on about, right? This window, for you that joined late, on the side of this building, there was um, ivy growing all up the building. They got a gentleman to come and cut the ivy back, for some reason I don't know why. And he came and cut the ivy back, and there's a window that was behind the ivy that nobody realised was there. Um, when he looked through the window, he could see a desk and a box, we think, but nobody in the hotel can find how to get into this room. So I'm going to turn you back round. Oops. That little round window up there, the ivy used to cover that window. And they came and cut it back. Um, and. Uh, Came and cut, turned it off. They came and cut that ivy back, and they found the window. But there's no door into that room. There's things in the room, but nobody knows how to get in it. So, we yeah, there could be a bookcase somewhere. It's not in our room. Our room is supposed to be the most haunted. This one we're staying in is supposed to be the most haunted room in this place, and. Um, We've got the white lady for the night. It is Nikki, it's a stunning place. I've never actually been here before. Um, the first time I've ever been here. Yeah, I would have thought the door had been covered over at some point, but there's still a desk and a box in it. But nobody knows how to get into the room to find out how long or what's in the desk or the box. Yes, you get to see our room in a bit. We're not just stopping in here all night, we're all going for a wander around. What do they think so far? What energies are they picking up on? I don't know because I went and showed them window. All right, could we see it window? Yeah. I'd be knocking down walls to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. I think I'd have to. We are going to see later on when Dyke Port comes on, if you'll, if you'll let us into the room above. But obviously we do have to be a bit careful because there is other people stopping in this hotel. Well, next time, Claire Bear, if we come here again, you'll have to come with us and you can go looking for entrance to, w uh, to room, entrance to window. <laughs> but it's only a little window, so even if we've got a ladder, there's no way I'm going through that window. My backside ain't fitting through that hole, I'll tell you now. What, that vague when it comes? 
You know, you can be stored and you'll do a vape. Hey guys. Are you gonna, have you done any vape experiments yet? Because this thing's seen outside here. Yeah, should we do a bit of vape, do you wanna do? John, my friend, I don't eat some she'll put on promise me. She's let me know through here, eat it if she can. What's that? <laughs> oh my God. What? John, my friend died at 8.20 tonight. She loved paranormal. Promise me she'd let me know through here, ETA, if she can. Oh, Lily, I'm so sorry, my lovely Lily, lady. you haven't said her name yet, have you? Because don't say her name if you have, because if that name then comes see through... see it gets picked up. Please don't buddy, get any private readings on chat. If Lily wants a reading from you, Lily will message you herself for a reading uh, privately, but don't do it on chat because it's very recent, it's very raw. And, we and are, just be respectful, please. Thank you. We are sorry for your loss as well, Lily, by the way. Very much so, my lovely lady. But we will we will see. Like I said, we don't see know her name. So we will try in a bit at some point. If there's any questions Lily wants us to ask, I will ask a couple of questions for Lily. Um, yeah. I'm just thinking what's the best way to do it, rather than put it on here, message you. Uh, if she could private message me. Lily, if you want, if there's any, any Lindsay questions. Flet Lindsay Fletcher. Lindsay, Lindsay Downs. No, Lindsay Downs, that Fletcher's my maiden name. It's because I call myself Fletcher. Yeah. Lily. I like the married name. If you want to private message on Messenger, on Facebook Messenger, either ETA or Lindsay Downs with any questions, that you want answering, uh, want asking. asking, and we can ask them. And then nobody knows. Yeah, don't say a name because then obviously, for respect as well. But also, you know, we don't. If if a name comes through, then you'll know, and nobody can be said to. Yeah, but all our thoughts are with you tonight. So yeah, so I'm gonna do a bit of vape. If you guys want to get some screenshots. That is spirit, but it's not spirits what we're looking for. No, it's not. Spirits, if you can step forward and show yourself in the smoke or vape. Can you sit in one of these chairs? Can you sit down in the chair? So much of an agadizzer. Hmm. I'm just holding it and blowing it. That sounded so Why wrong. Why do everything I say have some, <laughs> have some crude <laughs> meaning behind it? <laughs> We're tossing some other days. I'm waiting for crying laughing faces to come up, yeah. <laughs> I'm just holding it and blowing it. Really? <laughs> You know. <laughs> That's enough of that. Yeah. There we go, look. Laughing crying laughing face. face. Takes 30 seconds. Have a look through the window, see if any objects are going off. Windows outside, see if you can see if anything's happening. There's definitely something in the ladies' toilet, so I'll tell you now. Well, I'm not going in the ladies' toilet. Sorry, in Jen's side. I can't see with camera. No flashy balls going off. Camera just reflects onto the window. REM pod's not going off. This back chair, this one here. We're going to go back inside in a minute, guys. Yep. And we're blinded. Blind. I've had a few spirits in my time at that bar. Turn out window. <laughs> what, the front one? That one, or the one? Must be that one. Sorry, Claire Bear. Sorry, Claire Bear's mum. The feelings do mean, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
Yeah. That first one. All right, we're going to have one on the back inside now, guys. Yeah. Now we've had a vape. Oh. So I, pulled, I, pulled, I thought I pulled the door off hinges then. Oh my god, I thought I would be standing there. I'm not scared to go in a women's restroom, but people will talk about me if I start going in a ladies' toilet. What I might do is I might leave you with Lindsay. I might leave you with Lindsay. And I might go and take a recorder in with me. I'm doing EVP. In gents' toilets. I don't want to leave. No, take that, take that. I don't want to take them in toilets. You guys right, don't want to go in. Why don't you go in toilets if you're doing an EVP? Gents don't, people don't want to go in gents' toilets, really, do you? <laughs> Not really. I would have done. <laughs> Good evening, Nathan. Yeah. Do I need to leave right. loose? What do we want? Should we put this spiritus on for a bit? Not spiritus, yeah, yeah. Um, necrophonic. Necrophonic. Spiritus, we think it's not a right thing for any of. Not all Claire's and Angie's here anyway. No. no. <laughs> that Spiritus is a bit... Uh, There's some... Spooky. Yeah. So yeah, some spooky things that come out of that. Just tell Lily to let you know when... Because uh, I'm trying to get out messages. No, that's why the speaker's gone off. <coughs> the lights. Good evening, Spirit. Can you step forward and tell us a message? Yes, Rebecca, we're just stopping in here for a while. And then we'll go, well, not for a while, for a bit longer, then we're going to have a wander around. We'll go up to the room shortly. We're here all night. Is the lady spirit still with us? Yeah. We will try it. Or I'll try spiritus in a bit. But I'll wait till Claire and Angie aren't here because either I'll go somewhere Might and leave me. To do that, so. Might want my own to do spiritus because Lindsay don't like it either. But I will do it at some point. Right, I'm going to pass it. I'm going to go to the toilet. But we do think. But you know this, the dog sound, because there's like a growling sound that comes through. But we think that that is uh, John's... How do I turn that one off? We think that that is John's spirit, dot animal, that's coming through and warding off. All negative. Right, ladies and gents, let's get ready. You saw an orb? Necro chat thingy majiggy, that's the one. Another orb drops straight down from the ceiling. Uh, so they're seeing lights which we'll probably not see over. They're coming down from the ceiling over there. But that has been, that actually has been seen in here. Um, weird when that started up, but it took far, I know. Um, but yes. <laughs> Is the little boy spirit present with us? Can you communicate? Come. Come in. Is there any spirits here with us? Can you step forward and communicate? Can you tell us your name? One at a time, please. Mister. Can you go speak to John? He's coming out here. Did Henry VIII used to visit this building? Can you tell us what Henry VIII's personal assistant was called? William. Got that set. William. William, if you're with us, can you make one of the devices go off, please? Nope. William.
Liam, please step forward and just let us know by them lights. Please light one of those balls upon the other table. John will show you how to do it. Angie. Angie is Angie's just feeling a lot of coldness round her and she's just had the shivers go from top to bottom. And her hands are like ice cubes. And mine, I'm red off. I'm fu I'm I'm gonna swear then. <laughs> I didn't um, I'll get banned again, I'll get bored. Hi Chris. Edward William. William, can you step forward, please? Can you tell me what your second name was, William? Can you tell oh. us? Can you tell us clearly what your second name was? Is Mary with oh. us? Wow. Lindsay, you are live on ETA. Please do not swear. <laughs> Paul? Six feet, are you picking up a pole? Or is that what you heard, my lovely? The lights? If it's something that you hear, put question marks after it because then it makes it easier for me and everybody else to uh, make it sound, make it so we can see whether you've heard it or you're feeling it. So remember, quit question marks. Can you show yourself, spirits, by lights? Thought I heard get out. The lights. Are those, li are those lights stopping you from stepping forward? Are those lights stopping us from seeing you? We are good people. We are good people. We've come with the utmost respect for you. We just want to connect with the positive spirit so you can tell us your story of what happened here. <laughs> was you a good person? If you was a good person, can you light one of those devices up? <laughs> Boy, that that lady's voice that comes through, I think she comes through quite regular. I recognise her, I recognise her too. But that little boy is then. Can you tell me how old the little boy is, please? Maggie. Maggie, are you with us? Are you looking for the light, Maggie? That went to red. Maggie, why are you looking for the light? How can we help you? There's nothing to be scared of. We don't mean you. I heard a couple of knocks then. I don't know if it's just me. I heard, like, I can't. <laughs> I don't know. It was just like, it was like, two, two, like, yeah. You. The little boy that's here with us, are you 10? <laughs> You're sensing something over that way. You've just seen something. 
Right, we'll turn the camera around, guys, because we're seeing things. In front of fire exit. Uh, like, oh, it looked dark. Two. I don't know where I've put your torch. No. <laughs> Listen. If you want to ask out, ask for shadow. Right. Oh, save, I've just seen your shadow. Have I just seen your shadow? Need a door? I think I'm looking upstairs on bed. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Can you do it again? Can you walk past, like past that doorway? <laughs> God, John's shadow's there now. I've just seen John's shadow cast on that door so while he's just stuck in a photo. It was near. Ah. It was what, near? Near the bottom of this side. Yeah. yeah, so it's just on camera shot, isn't yeah. it, where they are? Yeah. yeah. So you're looking, if you look towards the bottom of the door, guys, you can just see like a light. That's where the dark shadow was just seen. Door. 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 Just said door as well. Yeah. Hello, Maggie. Was that your dark shadow we've just seen walking across the door? We just see your shadow. Maggie, if you're looking for the light. Maggie passed away at 39, praying she's on the other side now. Bless you, Lily. Maggie. The light's waiting for you, Maggie. If you've just come to let <laughs> Lily know that you're okay. She knows that you're okay. <laughs> Can you say <laughs> goodbye to Lily? <laughs> From that bit. Yeah. You know, initially, it was that we think it was the door, don't we? Yeah, I thought it was the Jen's door opening and closing. <laughs> Lily, have you heard your name? <laughs> Maggie, if you've got a message for Lily. Can you say it now, please? Can you say it clear for Lily so Lily knows it's you? I'm going to be quiet for five minutes, for a few minutes. Can you just speak to Lily, please? No, they're very, very faint. Thank you. I don't think it's Maggie that you can hear, Rebecca. I think you, I think Maggie will have crossed over, um, and I think she'll have gone to the light. I think she just wanted to come forward and just let Lily know that she's fine and that all is well. That's good. Uh, Lily, what I'm going to do is after the after we've finished in the morning, I'm going to private message you and uh, just have a chat with you. And um, if you want to try and communicate on a one to one. Um, we'll talk about it, my lovely, and then it's not being put all over here. Uh, all right, my sweet cheeks. Can you walk past that door, please? The one that you were showing you. Or that Angie saw you walk past. That few men here. There. Dad. Dad. Henry, are you with us? Henry, if you're with us, who was your father? 
No worries, Rebecca, my lovely lady. It's absolutely fine. I see it. Say, so if they've put in question marks, that means they've what? seen it. If they feel it, then there's nothing behind it. So what? that's how we can distinguish. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to room in a minute. No problem, <laughs> Lily. Yeah, shall we take you guys up to room? We can always come back down and, um, in a bit and see whether energy can pick up and been change. Live. Been in here quite a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that torch, because you know when we're in room... Yeah. If you put that one on, the purple light. <laughs> Broggy at camera. And sh I'll let sh John show you how to work that. If I have it, how to put the photos facing me. And, um, Unfortunately, yeah. guys, while we're walking through the hotel, I'm going to have to turn Necrophonic off. Yeah, we can't have it while we're walking through hotel. Can't freak rest at guests there. <laughs> no, that won't, that won't go down well, I don't think, in hotel. Yeah. Yeah. What did it, it always Bishop. says something? Bishop. Bishop could be relevant yeah. to this place. Two minute guys, we're just all packing up. Voice. Oh, I forgot about that. Voice. Voice. Upon. No window, voice, and a song. We are going in a minute, guys. Is that also sitting there? Turn that one. i get back to it, room. So I'll wait for them, that will just go off anyway if I'm carrying it. Yeah. Right, everything's away. Everything's away. I'd have Did left REM pod. Luckily, Claire and Angie remembered. <laughs> REM pod and balls, or I'd have left, I'd just walked out without them. Right. I'm going to have another quick vague while we're outside. Going back Are we ready now, guys, to go and see the John Darcy suite? Just getting a stuff ready. We're having a slow walk. Because we're going to have a vape while we're going, because once we get inside the hotel, there's no vape and there's no. Yeah, we're vape. not allowed to. No, nothing. Yeah, I get headaches, that's what I'm quite bad. So we are now going to go up to the John Darcy suite in a minute. It's a room worth stopping for the night. Always an Edward. It's always going to be an Edward everywhere you go. That door actually looks a bit like a face, doesn't it? If you look at them. Oh, that's a reflection of them behind me. That were Eleven. Eleven's been through before. Eleven's been through with bread. Yeah. Because it's just saying. It's bread for me soon, then. Bread for me soon. Because it says eleven for me soon. Wonder if they'd have had bread. It is warmer in this bit than that, what that bit is, yeah. There's a woman stopping in room called Linda. I think going oh. to get spooked, I'm sensing. There's no, um, it's not cold, it's not a cold night, is it? It's a warm, <coughs> it's a warm guy. Oh no, I can't plug that in. I was, uh, the router's on red. It says it stays on red for about an hour, but I'm going to plug it into my um, power bank on my phone. Yeah. Put my phone cable. I'll turn you around because I don't want to get anybody off. What do you mean this that? Is that the floating a bit? Yeah, it's only a gazebo though. Oh, yeah, it no. on it's a modern one as well, it's not an old one. So, as for Mary, we will do. Lindsay. Look at that spider. I just, have you just seen that? Whoa. Amy, this one's for you. Look at that. See it, Amy? Oh, that's got babies on its back. That's huge. That's humongous. Sorry, guys, I'm going to turn you back around. We're quick. Just waiting for these guys to finish the cigarettes and then we're going back up to the room. We're going to stop a bit longer and finish the cigarettes and not rush in then. Will you do me a favour? 
before you come up. Will you just nip to reception? I don't want to go with this to reception yeah. just in case. Were you asking me if the John Dorsey suite was room 222? Yes, I will. Thank you. Somebody's just asked me that, so. Thank you. We will find out in a bit, Scotty. I hope we can find this room. Look at men's toilets there. Yeah. You know that archway at Bartlett? Oh, yeah. That's where well, this, you go down behind the stairs and you go through that and you eat men's room. Alright. That's men's toilet, that is it? Yeah. Behind that window. That window there? That little window there, that arch window there. You go down them stairs there, into men's toilets. And uh, that window's into the toilet. It's a bit of information for you guys. And I think later, it'll have to be later though, about to be about two o'clock. I think we'll have a break in a bit later. <laughs> You're welcome, Amy. I might try and do a bit of screen in this mirror later or something, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, through that door. Yeah. We're going to have to pull these. I'll catch you up. Put us in the attic. Do you want me to wait with Doro? You're alright. I'm alright, one. Alright, guys. This is a room we're st staying in. No, it's a hotel. We already, we already get location away. I've got to get my key card out now. Yeah, could all not lock earlier. Well, I'm knackered. Not a breath now. <laughs> we go. Ooh. Here we are. This is... Let's turn your light on. You leave it light on. I ain't got light on. This is... She's struggling. We did leave a camera running in here, guys, while we've been out. So we'll check through footage and if there's anything worth posting, we'll uh, post. So, this is the bedroom we have got for the night. Oh. That is our bed. <laughs> Fireplace, that was what we thought was a door. But if you go outside the room, there's another door. Right. And we think that that's it's right. like a cupboard. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We've got... Little cupboard here. We've got an iron. Ugh. And this is our bathroom. I'll show you this bathroom. This one's quite nice actually. And I wonder when I turn that on. And that's our bathroom. Is it one of them weirdy mirrors that lights up? Looks like it, but I can't see a switch for it. Oh no, what is the look? Yeah. Weirdy light up mirror. Oh yes. I'll take this bag off now. It's a whammy. It is, it's red up here. Oh, Lindsay's stripping off, I better get it. I'm only taking my cardio. That's all right. Then. It's only a little one. So, any feelings you're getting from this? Any vibes you're getting from in here? I haven't told you a lot about the ghosts that are allegedly here, but that's more because I've told you there's a white lady, a spectral dog, and another poltergeist activity. But I didn't want to tell you anything else because. If you Google it, you can find out who this white lady is supposed to be. But I wanted to leave it to see what you guys were sensing. The other two are here now. I'm going to give this to Lindsay a minute while I... Uh... That going crazy. Yeah. There you go, Lindsay. 
you that a minute? What's that one saying? Stuff, terms and wrong. Stuff, terms and wrong, guys. This room has been renovated. Some of, of it, it was what it was in the 16th century. Romance vibes Dawn's getting. <laughs> What's that saying? It's just going crazy. It's crazy. It said, coat nearby, roadway, purified, mail. It wasn't room 222. It wasn't room 222. No. This wasn't room 222, Scotty. I'm not going to tell you what it was yet, though. Right. Oh, so it is a significant room, then? Or don't we know? Don't tell you what which room it was. Uh, no, let's see whether anybody, can, if it comes through on any devices, what room it was. Sorry, guys, I'm chucking everything and you're going all over the place. I think John's setting Rempod up the over there. It, bread, you don't sense anything, Tracy? Bread, bread, milk, and I've got eggs. Bread, milk, and eggs is coming through. <laughs> That's his breakfast in morning. Yeah, Yorkshire puddings. Got somebody making Yorkshire puddings. Was a lady smothered? Lily's asking. No worries, Claire Bear. Um, I'm not sure whether she was smothered. Um, but possibly. Reveal has just come through. So we've got the flashy balls on the bed and the REM pod. Flashy balls going off. That could be me walking. That could be John walking. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to move that one off because that seems a bit more sensitive, that ball. Poisoned. Um, I'm not sure. We'll check on the history. I know we know a bit of history. Put that one up there. Oh, that one's gone up there. And it's not set. It's being set off up there. Lorraine, you've got 254 or 257 for room number. Spirit wants food. It does, Gemma, it does. But when John's got everything set up, we are going to turn the lights out. Throat was cut. Are you saying the throat was cut? Is that what you feel, Gemma, or Stella, or is that what you know, my lovely? Lindsay, set in the seat in the corner where you were before. I am sat in, I've not moved from that seat. I'm still sat in the seat where John filmed me. I know. I know how the white lady died. Do you want me to say, Lindsay? Uh, not yet, Scotty. Eh? Um, we shall see. We've no, had... we, we, didn't, we didn't say anything because we wanted to know if anybody could sense it. Anybody can sense it in chat. Uh, hang on. It's going back up screen. Uh, a 56 and a 186 for room number. I'm sensing Maria, who died with a heart condition in room 227. Uh, something with pillows. I'm picking up on a plot, plot to overthrow the king. Uh, and that's what we've got so far, guys. And you're sensing a Mary. What do we want to do? Shall we try an EVP in here first? A couple of EVPs? Yeah? Yep. Going to do a couple of EVPs in here first and see if we can communicate. Oh, yeah, that's why I checked. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Scotty, my lovely. Was she a prostitute? No, she wasn't a prostitute, Rebecca. Um, I'm not going to say what she was, um, but no, uh, she wasn't a prostitute. Well, she may have been looked upon, maybe, as one, I don't know, but uh, she, didn't, she didn't work for her money. So we're going to turn the lights out, are we? Yep. You've got your purpley torch. I'm going to give you... Get camera as well in a minute, and then you can take some like still photos round room with blue light. And you can have that torch if it's better. Just leave it on bed. Right, I'm gonna pass you. Am I holding this? Lights are going out, guys. Nobody look. Be light enough because you're gonna have that on. Yeah, so don't look at that though. That's it. Be dark. You all right with that? I'm all minutes? right for that two minutes. If you're going to stand in front of fair place, then I've got you on. Right, we're doing EVP. Right, ready? Ready? 
did somebody just see that orb then and it wasn't dust it just come all the way down the door that's definitely not dust the door, the door to your side other side that's no side. no other side the, well not a door that wooden panel yeah orbs are a um We've had a sorry. We've had. A, I've just seen about five. I've just seen about four orbs. There is some dust particles, but that one definitely wasn't a dust particle. It come down and it like zigzagged. Do you know this room is very clean? Because when we first got here, we we're on about it with this UV light, and we went round room with lights out with UV light, and we can't find anything. Spotless. Spotless. So there were no Spotless. fingerprints, so no, fingerprints no DNA, no anything. <laughs> right, we're ready. We're ready. EVP session one, John Darcy Sweet. Good evening, spirits. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Kate. My name's Claire. We mean you no harm or disrespect. We're just here to communicate with you. Can you step forward and tell us your name? Can you tell us whose room we're in? Can you tell us if you're a man or a woman? Can you tell us what happened in this room? Was you murdered in this room? If so, who by? Did King Henry VIII stay in this room? Right, stop it there. Wow, wow, wow. You won't see the... And I mean, you cannot say these are dust particles at all. <laughs> it was Angela. Definitely not dust that, Rebecca. Announcing a scandal between Mary and Henry, possibly. Any of you two sensing anything round you? No. Not at all. No. Didn't hear anything. So what do you want to do now? Try another EV. Do you want to try another EVP? Because I know you don't like doing EVPs, but they do say if you do two straight after one another. You're more liable to pick something up. So try one I'm more. I'm more liable to pick them up than the two, but I'm not going to just... <laughs> <laughs> orb over pillars, yes, we've seen it, yeah. Another huge Fancy. orb. They come in, the orbs are coming round. They're coming down the door. There's some round the bed. And that's when I said, did you feel anything? Because the orb come right behind you wow. and it went straight over Angie's shoulder and then round... Wow. To the side. No, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, I didn't. You ready then? Ready. EVP session two, John Darcy Sweet. Could you tell us what the old room number for this room used to be? Are you showing yourself in light anomalies? Is that you that's 
floating around me in your entire. Are you stuck here? Can we leave this room? What happened to the spirit known as the White Lady? Did somebody stab you? If so, why did they stab you? Okay. One and a half minute. John don't like EVPs. <laughs> Cheryl is seeing a woman being stabbed with what looks like a dagger stabbed stabbed in her side. She was in a long nightdress, like a floor length nightdress. I've got stabbing pain under my left boob again. Really, Helen. Just make sure you do your protections, my lovelies, for those that are watching. Because sometimes you can get affected. Take screenshots, guys, if you can. Betrayal, highest betrayal. Non-marital sex. They were dust then, I think, going up. Nothing on that one. <clears throat> Nothing. No. Right, guys. <coughs> what do you fancy doing now? Box, head wave, necrophonic. Claire, why don't you sit in that chair and put pillars behind your back and support your back, though? Just shove that book out. Or you just set some of the pillars off bed and put them behind your back, sir. I'm feeling it from walking stairs, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Evening and welcome to everybody joining us. We are going to be on for a long while. <laughs> the orb shot straight past John. Yep, I saw them while on camera. As I will say, um, there is dust particles in the air, but nowhere near the size of those orbs that have just uh, been coming on camera. Um, hi, Amelia. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm called China Light Paranormal, and I suffer with autism too. Welcome, Amelia, to ETA family. Glad you could join us. Dead wave. Dead wave. It's the pillows. Oh, can't sneak out of this room, can you? Yeah, I am sat down, Stephen, my lovely. I've been sat down since I entered room. There's two chairs in corner. There's one, the one that Claire sat on. There's the puffy at the end of the bed that Angie sat on, and I'm sat in a chair. There's only John that can't sit down unless he lays on bed. <laughs> Jove, shove, spirit chair. Sorry, no. Oh, on, carry on. Uh, yeah, John just gonna have to lay on bed. Just shove spirits. Off the chair first, yeah. Well, apparently there is a spirit that sometimes sits in this corner, I think people have said and seen. Um, I'm just on that door just in case. <laughs> I'm sleeping at the first one out. The first one is out. it male or female, Rebecca? <laughs> Camera is going funny. Might be because I've just moved it. 
Thank you, Amelia. I'm glad you're enjoying. You'll have to send me a link to your uh, page or YouTube channel and uh, we shall pop across and show some support. Is camera still fading in and out? I hate this 30 second delay. If yes, there's any spirits in this room, can you make a knocking sound for us? Well, no. John's gonna. John's no, gonna no, knock. Don't tell anybody. And everyone like jumps. Can you copy me, please? The knob's just flown straight across into your head. My head. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get out of here pretty quick. And no, it's like gone up to your head, and then it's just moved right across on top. So if it's gone in my head, it'll be more scared of me. Well, it'll not come in my head. Jeanette's sensing a woman. Is there any spirits? Can you make a noise, please, in this room just to let us know that you're with us? We are just about to put the dead wave on. Is it dead wave? Yeah. Yep. Dead wave's going on. I'm going to have to bring it over there, though, so they can hear it. I heard priest, then. Any spirits here in this room with us? Can you use one of the devices we've got to communicate with us? Is there a child spirit in this room? Is there some sort of carving or etching of a name or signature to one of the bedposts? We shall have a look round and see if we can see one. Uh, is that yeah. something that's been reported? You're sensing that I'm sitting next to <coughs> with a lady? If there's a lady, that orbs are liking you, Jonathan. John. I nearly called it. I ate that. <coughs> is there a lady spirit here with me? Hmm? Christ, yeah. Somebody's had too much fun on them beds. Oh, I can't see one on that one. Just checking for etching of a name. Spirits, if you're with us in this room, we've got a couple of bowls that light up. They're on the top of the fireplace. They're like in the clay cups. Can you light those bowls up, please? We'll come with no harm or disrespect again. Same poor connection, and then it's back on again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's absolutely fine to share live stream, Amelia. Thank you so much, and to everybody else that shared. No worries, Janet. Sweet dreams, my love light. Orbs flew towards the bed. I know, just refresh, guys, if it's freezing. Um, signal's just gone off twice for some reason. It's been fine all the time. We've been set up here. No, I know. Any spirit here? Can you tell us the story from this room? What happened here? Can you say our names, spirit? Can you say one of our names? Yeah. Do I have a message? Would you like to tell your story? We're here to listen. Are you the lady that lost her life? Did Henry VIII stay in this room? Thank you. Were Henry VIII married to Am Am Anne Boleyn? Anne Boleyn, are you here with us? And if you're here, can you go and light one of those devices up on top of the fireplace, please? Thank you. 
Now, normally, guys, I don't believe in orbs. Okay. Well, I do, yeah. but I don't, if you know what I mean. But these that are coming are just fabulous. But if you can screenshot, I mean, that's definitely not dust that flying up that wall then. Honestly, guys, you know, one of you all want to hold this camera and look at what's coming through on camera and seeing. Do you want me to get your camera to hold? And, um... Hold. Hold. See? Hold the camera. If you watch... Well, I am. If you keep watching... Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, then? massive. That is yeah. not no. dust. I mean, you can see, it but of dust you can see particles of dust in light, but that. No, it was like can that. you show yourself to us by a light? Did you see that one near window? Was... Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Can you tell us how many spirits are here? Sorry, Will. Anne Boleyn was Henry VIII's second wife, and she was beheaded. Before really? Time. Before time. Before time. How long has this building been here Dad. for? <coughs> Once uh, putting on silent. <coughs> Anne Boleyn, are you in this room with us? If you are, can you show yourself as a light figure near the fireplace? Palace. Palace. Can you make a... Wow. Can you make a flash, Anne Boleyn? Can you stand in front of the fireplace for us? Equation. There's massive orbs, Luella. Spirit, can you, whoever's with us, Anne, if that's you, Anne Boleyn, can you show yourself by a flicker of light, please? Page. Or William? Are you Henry the Eighth? That little boy, weren't yeah. it? Is the little boy with us that was with us downstairs? Yes. yes. Can you tell us what your name is? Yeah. You're saying Samuel? Samuel? Is that you, Samuel? Yeah, he is. I've heard. Anything with a question mark behind it is what they've heard coming through box. Samuel followed Claire. If Samuel followed Claire. Can you show yourself, Samuel? Can you show us? Claire's going to show you how to light the balls up on the fireplace. Can you copy and light the other one up? Will they be too hard for him? Might be. Should we put them down on the floor? Just make, making sure they don't... Um, on them. Even on them, you're saying, oh. yeah. yeah, just walk past them. <laughs> They're not going off. If the little boy's Rapture. here, we've moved the balls down onto the floor. <laughs> Can you go and light one of the balls up, please? Slight heat and stars. Garden. Garden and surprise. Mop. Oh, that might mean when we go out in garden, we might have a nice surprise in garden. Lost connection for like five. I don't know why we're losing connection because signal's really, really good up here. What is that on the corner of the bed? Torch. Spirits, please try and light those balls up to let us know. 
If you're an adult, if you're a male or a female adult spirit, you do have the energy to light those balls. Is Samuel your name? Oh, Might be. We're like a light, though, yeah, weren't I'm it? I don't know. <laughs> My God. Heard. We can see you in your light formation. Can you go near one of those devices, the one with all the blue lights on? Can you light go and take your energy near that and the alarm will go off, it won't hurt you? It's on. There's three lights on. Yeah, but there's no sound. No, because it doesn't go on till it's four. <coughs> but why is it on three? That's on four. An orb went past that, and I don't know if that lit it up. Evening, Cliff. We're all feeling fine, Dawn. There's no... We don't feel any negative energies. or But nothing negative has ever been reported for being in this place anyway. Um, there's reportings of the White Lady. You've got to see this. Take this a minute, because I'm telling you now, the orbs that are coming through are just so strong. Yes, they're massive. Good evening, guys. Good evening. I'm back. I'm going to make us a coffee in a minute. All right, that kettle boiling is not going to interrupt everything. Is it? Well, it'll only boil for five minutes. Check, check. So where's these orbs then? Where's these orbs then? If you watch, oh, you see them and they come down and they flow and then they go back up. It's not dust, I'm telling you. Claire's come to sit on the floor with you. you okay, Can you light Alicia? one of those balls up to let Claire know that you sat next to her? Can you use mine and John's energies if you're a child spirit? We're in a hotel, Amelia. Amelia's from another paranormal team. She just joined us. I saw, I saw that with my own eyes. What? It was like a light that went up and down, that black thing. I don't know whether... Make me move it. No, camera. no, because it was... It, it, I, Spirits, can you show yourself on you by using your light energies? Can you show yourself on ca around the fireplace, please? Can you show yourself going near Claire <coughs> or Angie? I thought that just said Claire. Man. Did it? Aisha. There's also a meter on top of the fire. You can light that up. And we'll know you're here as well. That'll pick up on your energies. Can you use your light energy? Yeah, you sit there. I'll get on bed a minute. All right, I'm just no, standing here. Right. So somebody said that the orbs are between the bed and the fireplace. I haven't seen one yet. Sit down in chair. Trying to get my boot off, so I'm not putting my feet on the bed. Yeah, I can see dust in front of the camera. No, you yeah, you can there. Uh, but you watch. No, big, big circles of light. Massive circles uh, of light. Moving. And there was that big flash in that top corner. Spirits, <laughs> what am I sat on? You know that light at the bottom? Yeah. Well, that won't be in a while. I'm sure that won't. I've noticed that here. Well, that light's not off. 
No, that's coming off camera like I think. Um, yeah. Sorry guys, I'm just making sure you the light on the bars. Keep an eye on it. And then if it uh Yeah, it's nice. Let me uh, everybody's saying Beep. There we go. Everyone say. Really? She's going off. Sorry, if that's you on that light. Can you step away? Step See what that might be. There's a cable running underneath or something. Yeah, man. If I move that back there. With that cable, it's EMF, isn't it? So, yeah, right. So, if it's EMF, <coughs> that one, oh, you sure you know that top one on the floor? I'll put there. If you put that down onto the floor, <coughs> that's an EMF meter, and that's not going on. It's <coughs> real and arrive. Have you arrived, Spirit? Now they used to tell me to move them balls because they're in the fireplace and if it's a child they might not go home because they're in the fireplace. Can you tilt one pin that side? Is that one? Yeah, tilt it so it's not a fireplace. It's like, yeah, that's it. Send the colours off and can see it. This bed makes a right noise. Diction. Have it? Diction. Speech. Spirits, can you light the devices up on the floor, please? Pray. Yeah. Pray. Yeah. We did. We did pray. We did actually pray in this. We did mm. do actually uh, two prayers in this room. I'm gonna try something. Try. Nothing bad. Don't worry. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> Nobody know. trusts me. Trust me. Nobody trusts me. Trust me, I'm a paranormal investigator. Can I see if they'll light it up for you? Just ask. Would you please light up one of the devices? Yeah. 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 can light any one of those balls up it's a toy won't hurt you you ready yep the line of the lord's prayer that stands out for me the most is forgive for us our trespasses as we forgive those who are we ready <laughs> Let's see if this works Sing together, Father in heaven. No. What are you looking for? It's just the Lord's Prayer. Because it said pray, so I'm going to put the Lord's Prayer on. Yeah. If we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy Let's will be done on earth up. as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, this what you want and this forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yeah, because it would be, yeah, they were uh, Christian, weren't they? Will we come? I don't know. He dissolved all oh, monasteries, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I, I might be talking rather with this, but didn't he get rid of... He got rid of them, I Catholics, think. Catholics, and yeah. he, he created his own religion, which is C of B, because he wanted to divorce, divorce one of his wives, and obviously if you're Catholic, you're, you're not allowed to, to divorce. Do it, yeah. So I think he changed the religion, but I could be wrong. 
Can you like those lights up if we're speaking, if you know what we're talking about? Who's happy? Yeah, I think he's happy. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not moving. Nobody's moving. No, we're not. I don't know if you can hear it, we can hear a tapping. That's you tapping. Paratech loaded. Can you tap louder for us? Started scanning. Less. Less. That's been reported in this room, though, tapping. Yeah, I've not. Yeah, tapping on another Could you affect some of the devices on the floor? Or could you communicate using this device in my hand or the device in Claire's hand? Pennies. Can you throw us a penny? No. Node. Node. Node? What's node mean? If it's possible, can you throw something into Emulate. this room? Emulate. Like a penny from your time. Gabrielle. Did Anne Boleyn stay here in this great hall? Queen. Queen. Thank you. It's quite relevant. Was Anne Boleyn the queen? Upper. Upper. Can you just say yes or no? Under the bed? Oh, you know. <laughs> Guys, making me move. I'm showing everybody my socks. Yeah. Jumping on the wall. That's under the bed. There's definitely nobody under the bed apart from a couple of folders and books that are nothing to do with us. Brian would have a look at them later, just in case. <laughs> might be something interesting. Might be government secrets or something. Please, Please light up those devices on the floor if you can.
And Berlin, can you step forward and tell us your story? Yapping. Yapping. She always says something about... Yapping. Normally it tells me to shush. <laughs> Is Lindsay yapping? Won't oh, she shut up? Play. Play. You can play with those balls on the floor. You playing a game? They want me to move. Yeah, nobody's seen any orbs now. There was loads. There were loads coming earlier. That's moved. Are you going to sit back there? I don't know. Oh, they want you to move balls. Yeah, do you want me to move one at balls? Just Fine. next to bed. Put it on bed. No, because they, they think that little boy's under the bed. Yeah, you take that a minute. See, orbs might be attracted. K2 or that red blue one, red pod. K2 means Can you go towards that green light again? Or the blue light? Or stand in between them both? That would be amazing if you stood in between and made them both light up. If. What are we on on camera? What you focusing on? Uh, the balls at the minute. Which ones? Both. Oh, got every. I've got them both all in screenshot. I did. <laughs> Jeanette, that were me. I'm sorry. They didn't see me, and I threw bed cover up because I thought little <laughs> boy were hiding underneath it. And Jeanette's just gone check who's thrown the bed cover over, and it were me. <laughs> sorry, Jeanette, it were me. <laughs> yes, John, child is hiding. The little boy or the little child that's hiding under the bed, can you step forward and can you light one of these lights up on the floor? All you've got to do is just touch it and it's just a little toy that we've brought you to play with. We give you permission. This is what I thought. Yapping, I haven't heard that word in a long time. No, neither have I. You just have to touch it or try and move it and it'll light up like that. It won't hurt you. Can you communicate with me on this device that I'm holding? Gonna... No, no, I'm just trying to put it in front of camera, but I can't. I mean, my arms aren't long enough. Sail. Sail, as in S-A-I-L. So as in sail, as in with a boat, sailboat. I think spirits are amazing things. I live with spirit girl. Oh, Amelia, that's right, good. I hope you get some good communication. Mare. Amberlyn, who did you marry? Outside. Outside. Was the gentleman that you married a nice man? Was he a king? Went. Wench. That's relevant. It is relevant. relevant. When you're saying wench, <laughs> I know I won't swear. Who are you calling a wench? Is the wench? Is calling the... Mary. Void. Is somebody calling one of the ladies in this room? Or one of the spirit ladies a wench? Yep, saw that, Stella. See, as soon as I out camera, orbs are coming back on. Gary. What's that, sir? Gary. Yeah, Gary. Is that relevant to you? No, not his spirit world. Right. <laughs> what was it? That's right, good Aisha. You have to uh, message me and tell me all about that. What you just said? Horses. Would horses have been... Yeah, they would have been all stables back here. That's where we, that's where that's we were. Yeah. I think the room that we yeah. was in before Probably was actually the stables. Uh, the stables. Wench, the wench Mary. Was Mary a wench? Oh, my Good God. <laughs> Catch, fresh and learn. And I've just had design. Hey, release. Sit. 
and release. Uh, Can I try a bit of spirit box? Yeah. Uh, scanning the dots. Gonna try a bit of spirit box, guys. See if we can catch any more orbs going near these heads. <laughs> heads. 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 Jenny, you two want to on camera? It's not looking at you, it's looking in round room. Just to fold that. Oh, that's it, yeah. I thought I'd turned it back round. And that's it. And then if you say hello to anybody or is coming up or read what they say in chat, if it's relevant or... Okay. Sit in that chair if you want. You don't have to... Shall I sit in that corner? Yeah. And you're going to sit that side up there. Mary wasn't the wench, it was an employee to the Lord of the Manor. What's her name? What was her real name? Is there a secret room within this room? Um, well, I, I heard then something come through and said Emma. This one, that one's good when you're outside. This one's not as noisy. EMF's going off. Spirit, are you near the EMF? You can come back to that. Can we yeah. turn this device on? It's going off your camera. Yeah, but that could be camera getting a bit oh, close. Right. That's not. No, it's not. Would that set an EMF meter off that radio? Yes, no. no. Not this distance, anyway. Somebody's heard Emma. That's what I heard, Emma. Emma. Is Emma the name of the lady that you was calling a wench? Thank you for communication, spirit. Emma, have you got a message that you want to tell us? Going bonkers. Emma, can you trigger one of the other devices off? Can you light one of the balls up on the floor? Please use your energy to light that ball up just in front of the device that you're lighting up. It'll do exactly the same thing. I've just seen it all float down. Have you? Mm hmm Yeah, it's up there. So the people coming up into the room. It's definitely not you, that is too far away for it to be you. <laughs> Who's trying to communicate with us? That's what I do, <laughs> <with Castle. laughs> Can you affect the other devices, please? Can you step back from that device? Can you just let it go back to just the one light, please? Just stand back. I've just seen another orb. Oh, it might be dust, actually, that. You can see difference between the dust. We have got voices outside the room, ladies and gents. Obviously, it's a hotel. <laughs> I want to know what's making that K2 go all funny now. Call. What's it in this chair? Messenger and call. Sure? Yeah. 
Messenger and call. Right, so all devices we've moved. You've shifted up other stuff. No, I've never just shuffled the car. A lady called Teresa's picking up a Rosa Lynn. Rosa Lee. Lynn. Lynn. Rosa mm -hmm. Lee. Yeah. We've got a spirit with us called Rosa Lynn. Dave, those footsteps you can hear are actually people walking um, into their oh, room next door. <laughs> Not picking up on them yet. Hello? Is William with us? Or Henry? John, you normally communicate really well with you when you ask. I ain't touched it. Still scanning. Still scanning. White lady, are you in this room? Yes, you set phone, communicate with me, please. Can you tell me your real name? Could you say something relevant? Stephen's getting two Henrys. Picking up the two, the two, yeah, two separate people with their head. Yeah. Scott, your Cliff, or Dave, will um, validate whether there is two Henry's in or not. I know there's one. Ingrid saw an orb about two minutes ago, plain as day. Stella's heard 45 years. Question mark, question mark. Yeah, that's what she's hearing. Guardian. Gemma's a John. Yes. You say my name, Spirit? Cold. Are you trying to communicate with me? I'm here all night. Ask for Anne. Anne. Anne, are you here? She likes the lady, she likes the uh, no, gentleman. I don't think it's Anne, it's the right lady. Oh. Is Anne here? Fred? Not Anne Boleyn anyway, it's not the right lady. Is that light reflection on the left side of the mantle? Looks like a white blur. Whereabouts? In the what? Left side of the mantle. Yeah. yeah. If they mean in that one, I think it's reflection on that side. If it's that side there, that's reflection of uh, the light. Mary, are you here? Well, I could do puppet shadows then. <laughs> do you visit this room? Sam says she'd love to know what white lady's name is. We don't know, that's what we're going to try and find out. And Lily thinks they just said head. Something said head. Did Anne Boleyn lose her head? Stephen's getting drawn to her father and son. Can you tell Spirit Amanda says hi, please? We just have. The woman I'm sensing, this is Lady, uh, Lady Cole Cheryl, the woman I'm sensing was not beheaded, she was stabbed in her side, in her ribs, left side. That could be relevant because there was a lady that did get stabbed. Um, that's and the white lady. That's the white lady. 
That's who we think the white lady is, but we don't exactly know her name. Scotty might know it. Scotty might know the white lady's name. If he wants to say it, if he does. He can say the name if he's got it. Scotty's just come up and put there were two Henrys. Henry the... Is that eight? Five at the... <laughs> yeah. yeah, Henry the eighth and, and, and his son. son. More history later. Yep. Oh, wow. Cheers, Scotty. Does Scotty know the white lady's name? Scotty, do you know the white lady's name? The white lady was the maid or the, the staff here. We're other... not going to be shouting out Amanda tonight. I'm sorry, darling. Um, because if we shout out for one person's name, we have to shout out for about six or seven or ten or eleven because everybody asks us on it every night we go out. Um, so I am, I apologise, darling. If you hear your name coming out, just pop it into chat. Um, but we go. George just nearly broke puffer. I didn't. I, I left it one side. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's why we're not shouting out names, Amanda, because everybody wants the names to be shouted out and it, it just uh, gets a bit overpowering with names. Just got a ma an energy male voice saying, it isn't right, it isn't right, the bed isn't in the right place and it's agitated that it was moved and it's wrong, it's not the same. It's not going to be in the same, same place, no. And that fireplace to me looks a new addition. I don't know. Yeah, the wood looks old, but the fireplace, fact that, the fireplace itself. Yeah. Inside, the yeah. fireplace mm. looks new, but yeah. I don't know about that surround. That surround, surround looks, looks old. Original. Yeah, surround is original, but, but I'm on, but yeah. Mm. Oh, you're going to have to take this, it's uh, in my arm. Oh, you can do if you want, yeah. Where do you want me to point it? <laughs> just <laughs> behind everybody. Just over this way. We have to speak over near you then. Oops, do you want that. to sit here and I'll sit on the floor, and you can see camera then as well. Oops, I mean everybody's eyes. Go on. Oh. Yeah, what I'm doing. Just pass it made up. Right, what we're doing, guys? She holds the secret. Very quiet there. Scotty, do we know? It, yeah, because you don't turn it up on that, you turn it up on four. You pass me. Scotty, do we know the name of the white lady? I'm getting Henry's father and son Mary and a nan. It's good. Oh, all well, that makes sense. Henry's father and son is Henry VIII and his son Mary and Anne is Anne Boleyn. His wife and Mary was having an affair with Henry VIII. That is common knowledge. Oh, you got to put kettle in. Alright, we'll put light on five minutes, guys. <laughs> Cheers, Scott. It's alright. I didn't know if we knew it or not. That were all. Um, I know. I can tell you what I can tell you about the white lady, guys. Is um, the white lady was. Working at this hall, she had an affair with a gentleman that also worked at this hall. He kept saying that he was going to leave his wife and be with her. She got pregnant. They then arranged to meet, and they did meet, and I think it was in this room, and he actually killed her. He, uh, he was supposed to be running away with her or, or, or whatever or leaving his wife for her for her because she was pregnant and he never did and they actually met and they ate arguing and then he killed her. Um, 
So, but I don't know the names. I don't know if it was in the article. Um, because I didn't want to write a lot of down about it when I was doing the history. Because I didn't want to give you all the information. Maybe at the start when other people. Uh, yeah, the doctor. There's another story. I don't know if it was in this room or not. Again, I don't know what room it was. Um, there was a doctor that stayed here the night. Let me just turn this off for a minute while I tell you. And uh, he was here to basically debunk everything, all the ghost stories. And he came and stayed here the night. And the next morning, the maid came in and bought him a cup of tea or his breakfast or whatever. And he had a peaceful night's sleep. He woke up. And she screamed, and the bed at the side of him was covered in blood. And there was just blood everywhere. Not his, I presume. Uh, he saw it, he had a fit, and he ended up having to be taken and driven home. He never returned here, and he never he packed his job up. The job he was doing at this, whatever, I think it was a hospital, whatever. But that was to do with why he was here. To debunk all these ghost stories and prove that it was all, wasn't real. It was this room. Great. I've got to sleep here. So yeah, so I'll put this back on. <coughs> so spirits, we've got four devices on the floor, three near the fire. <coughs> what? Uh, sorry, the bed. Um, one at the side of the. Oh, look, I've turned light out now. <laughs> Four devices, three near the fireplace, one on the other side of the bed, and you've got the device in my hand okay. that you can use to communicate with me. Please step forward and use any of these devices whatsoever to communicate. If you use the device in my hand, you can manipulate the sounds coming out to make words. Can you work out how to do that? Can you tell me your, your name? What? What happened to the doctor? Bishop? What's that about a bishop? You heard are you mine? I am quite worried actually about staying in this room as the yeah. white lady is supposed to get quite frisky with gentlemen. In that grey bag. Right next to you. Right near your stick. Mm. The white lady? How did you die? What boy? What? Yeah. Keep my balls on the floor. I'm going to keep holding my balls. I don't want white lady going over here. The white lady, are you in here with me tonight? Are you going to stop in this room with me? Scotty, I know it were in one of the rooms, but I can't remember what room it was. Oh. That was just speaker then. I just felt. <laughs> Thing is, will she get angry with Lindsay? Because Lindsay is here. Apart from the white lady, 
Is there any other spirit in here? Well, messenger and call. Why are you swearing at me? Will the white lady visit us later tonight? The white lady? Does it bother you that Lindsay's going to be in this room all night? I don't know, I'll let you ask him in a minute. Stop on then. Stop on. You'll just have to come and hold this and do this while I'm on the coffee. Sorry guys, we're just having a team meeting. To come off for our food, because we have his coffees. Let me turn it around onto you. We didn't know whether, guys, let us know what you think, whether to pop off now for half an hour, just while we have his coffee and a quick break and everything else. Um, so you can then go refresh and grab your coffees and a few snacks and get whatever you want to get done and then we will come back on it is half, half past, past 11. 11 now so if we come back on say at midnight in half an hour um are you guys happy to do that to come back on waiting for you to respond so don't go to bed on us if we come off we need you back on here for midnight I'm seeing thumbs up coming up hit the wrong button <laughs> yes go have a tea break view see you at 12 thank you very much if I come off I may fall asleep Claire Bear go grab a coffee I got cakes, guns, and jammy jodges. I'm okay. Probably sleeping by then. We'll try. Sounds good here. Yep. Oh, yes, making tea now. Right, guys. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to let. Do you want us on Facebook or YouTube when we come back? Do you want us on Facebook, guys, or YouTube when we come back at 12 o'clock? Everybody's saying yes, 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 yes. We'll do. They're all going to come back on for 12. Um, let us know, guys, if you. I'll always come back. I'm... Scott, are you stuck with us for life, Duck? Thanks, Dawn, Carol, Claire, Amanda, yep. So just let me know, Facebook or YouTube. We're not going off for good, though, Claire, uh, Amy. We're only going off for half an hour. It's only 6.30 there. It's half past 11 at night here. Facebook, Facebook. Right, we're coming back on Facebook. Yep, defo. Okie dokie then, guys. John, we're back on Facebook. Uh, we shall see you in here at 12 o'clock and uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon okay my lovelies take care and we'll see you soon bye back on for 12 o'clock no later <laughs> see you soon bye guys